This is in response to uh, lockdown 23 and one. Did a little video recently on uh, the California prison system um, about the people in protective custody, AKA PC, uh, AKA SNY, uh, sensitive needs yard, um, formerly special needs yard. Everything's gotta be politically correct. We just call them PC or pieces of shit, you know, on the main line. Um, so they're reintegrating PC into general population, AKA mainline. Um, you know, I, I seen, I, I actually went to the CDC R actually got a, pay, a, a page up, you know, explaining everything. Now, from everything that I've heard, all, you know, all the rumors uh, through my 10 years, did like nine and a half years, um, I kept hearing that it's more gangs in PC than it is in mainline. In mainline, you only got, you got the whites, you got the, you got the blacks, you got Crips and Bloods that go in with the blacks, you got the northerners. You got the Southerners, you got the Indians, you got the Pisces, which is Hispanic. You got others that is, you know, uh, your your Asians, Islanders, whatnot. <clears throat> so, you know, any like white supremacist gangs, they go in as white. Um... really the only gangs that are really going by themselves are northerners and southerners that everybody else is part of a gang goes with their race so basically kept hearing there's more gangs over there there's more gangs over there and when i finally got out i went on youtube and looked it up and it's like 20 it's like two dozen gangs over there um, you hear rumors like GTA, get that, you know, uh, GBG, gay boy gangsters over there. <laughs> um, what else? You got the Northern Riders. You know, they'd hold up like, how do they do that shit? Like a bunny. It's like a Playboy bunny or whatever. They got Playboy bunnies all over them, tatted on them. Um, basically drop out Northerners. <coughs> um... So they want to bring everybody back to the main line and see what happens. And this dude that does this this show, Lockdown 23 and 1, um, he's he's making a statement like they must be sending people from main line over to PC to make hits. Um oh, I'm sure that's been done before. It's not too common. Um because once you go over there, you're stuck. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to do that shit. Um, so basically the way I'm thinking is you got all these gang members over there that are, you know, causing acts of violence towards people in PC. And so it's no longer really PC. No one's protected over there. Um... I mean, people go over there all the time. Uh, any type of sex crime, you're done. That's that's PC. You're going over there one way or another. Um, you know, snitches, dropout gang members. You're going. You're going over there one way or another. Either you're going to go and tell the cop, put me over there, or you're going to be hurt and go over there. <laughs> um, oh, Another thing he was saying, uh, you know, I don't know how they do it outside of California, but uh, they can't make you go to PC. Uh, uh Not here. They cannot force you. They can ask you. They can try to persuade you and you tell them, no, I've seen it done. 
I seen it done in the hole, you know? So, um, which, and they'll just transfer those guys. You know, if somebody, you know, gets removed from the yard, um, police will, you know, tell them, hey, we can put you in PC over here, right on this yard in the same prison. And I've seen people say, no, I'm not doing that. Send me back to the yard or send me to another pen. And what they'll do is they'll send them to another pen because they don't want to be, uh, I guess, held liable or whatever, you know, for putting them back on the yard. If something happens to them, that's that's a liability issue. So they'll just they'll just send them to another pen. But, uh, you know, that's mostly for like uh, if there's a bad call by a shot caller or, uh, you know, drug debt, you know, where they know they got good paperwork. But, um, you know, if your paperwork's bad, <laughs> you're going one way or another. You're going to be on PC. So, yeah, it's like one third. California don't play. On a lower yard, they'll two on one you. On a higher yard, you might get stabbed, especially if you're a sex offender. Oh, yeah, you definitely get stabbed. Um, so now that you got all these gangs, like, the other thing is the Northerners, um, the Northanios, those dudes don't play in there at all. I mean, at all, at all, like, they run the tightest program. They get rid of the most, you know. I seen a northerner slice another northerner at San Quentin. And that's a soft-ass prison nowadays. I did my last three years of an 11-year term there. Um, I feel that's a great place to be, uh, you know, as far as being in, in prison. <laughs> even though it's not a great place to be. You know what I mean. Um, if you're going to do time in California, that's where you want to do it at is at San Quentin. And I know people are going to be like, oh, my God, San Quentin, no way. <laughs> um, let you know right now, it's not what it was, you know, uh, 10, 11, 12 years ago. Um, it's a level two. You got, you got the main part of the prison, which got like 15, <clears throat> it's got like 1500 lifers up there. Um, then you got H unit, which has like, well, there's 500 bunk beds, but they only got like 500 people there. Um, and is all level two, all them lifers, uh, you know, they're all hella old. <laughs> they're like 40s, 50s, 60s, stayed out of trouble all this time. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, H unit is 10 years or less. Everybody got less than 10 years to do. Um, so things do happen, things do happen on those yards, um, but it's rare. Um, I don't think, you know, even though there's been, there were stabbings from time to time, things like that, but I don't think in the whole time I was there, there wasn't not one riot. There were some close calls, man. There, you know, people got their, uh, peacock feathers ruffled a few times, you know, everyone, you know, tension on the yard, everybody's going out to the yard, you know. Everybody knows something's about to go down unless the, the, the shot callers of each race, you know, work out the differences. Um, uh, but they always squash those beefs, at least at San Quentin. Um, You go to you go to reception there. It, it it gets it's pretty it's a little bit violent there in reception though, you know. Before you see your, you know, I was in there like three months, and a whole bunch of shit went down. It was fights every day. It was stabbings. Um, people get sliced up. Yeah, that shit do happen in reception, 
but you're only there for a little bit, you know, before you go somewhere else. Um, chances are you'll be on a level two yard. But anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, so from what I read, back to the topic, from what I read, uh, apparently they had put like 30 PCs in the main line and, uh, they all said, cuff me, you know, and basically, like he said, man, the guard refuses, <laughs> said, nope, you know, we're not cuffing you. You're not going to PC. You're housed here. Go away. <laughs> oh, man. That shit is crazy because, like, every one of those dudes is a target. <coughs> Doesn't matter what they're in there for. It doesn't. If you're over there, you're over there for some reason. You're a piece of shit. That's that's the that's the thinking of of an inmate. You know, that's what that's how convicts think in California. Like, there's no if ands or buts. There's no excuse. You're in there. You're in there, and you're a target. It's Mando even. <clears throat> Like, let's say you're in a cell, right, in the hole, and a PC's in the hole, and both your doors are popped at the same time. You have to go attack that dude. <laughs> you got to go attack the guy in PC that y'all out together. Or that's your ass. You're going to be screwed over. Um, so, yeah, man, I guess they're, you know... Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention... Uh, there was a lawsuit by the inmates um, in the shoe, which is like a, which is like the hole. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, <sighs> they sued basically for saying. You know, they're putting they're putting gang members in the hole <clears throat> strictly for being a gang member. You know, like there's three things that attach them to being a gang member, like a tattoo, your your legal paperwork and an article. And boom, they could put you in the hole. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the inmates won that lawsuit They're All those dudes are coming back out the hole. And going back to mainline, um, <clears throat> so I guess they're just gonna, you know, anyone that attacks these guys, they're gonna put them in the hole, right? But here's another thing: if if let's say you're in that prison, right? Let's say you're in that prison, and PCs come to the yard, and they stay on the yard. The whole yard is, is no good. <laughs> um, so what the inmates gonna do, they're gonna start attacking them in attacking them in large numbers. Like as a mandatory thing. They're gonna force every, you know, like all the whites, they're gonna force every white to get involved. Unless you're retired, like, you know. 52 and older you don't got to do nothing but um everybody else i can see some prisons like uh you know level ones some level twos are gonna be like okay well uh you know okay we're just going to go along with this and, and they're going to become peace. I wouldn't be surprised if San Quentin did that. San Quentin, they get rid of their sex offenders off the yard. Um, but with only 500 people, um, you know, the politics are half-assed. Um, it's still, you know, 
two years ago, it was still considered a good yard, but kind of just barely, you know. Um, <clears throat> but is it now? I have no idea. So glad I ain't in there to deal with all this drama right now. <laughs> West Coast and I'm out.